Good morning and Merry Christmas. Um, this is another unedited vlog from me, Tyler. Um, it's almost three o'clock in the morning now on Christmas Day. I have not gone to bed yet, so to me it is still Christmas Eve. Um, I was just sitting in my living room just chilling and thinking about things and and realizing why it was that I haven't gone to sleep. And it's crazy to me because Christmas has always been a big time of the year for me and my family and being able to see extended family and do so much. We have long had a gift exchange that my grandfather organized between cousins, siblings, and beyond. Um, where we'd draw names out of the hat and exchange gifts. Um, every Christmas, it was a tradition of ours to go over to my uncle, my uncle's house, um, at least my immediate family. And this is the first Christmas I have ever had in L.A. It is also my first Christmas without family around. And I realized and recognized that it is probably the same case for a ton of people out there right now with the COVID situation going on. You want to keep people safe. You want to do everything that you can to stay healthy and protect your loved ones and, you know, do what is right for society as a whole. And it's really jarring. It's really different. And I never realized how different it would be and how much I would miss it. I mean, I knew I would, but feeling it is a completely different thing. And yeah, I was invited to join some friends on Christmas Eve or go somewhere else. And it almost, it almost felt more wrong to do that to me than to just be in my own space and alone. Something about worrying about dragging it down because I'd be sad, and I kind of am that I'm not around my family. Um, part of it might have been the fact that I felt like I would be intruding. And a third fact that was really unique to me that I realized I was feeling was the feeling that I would be cheating on my family, which doesn't really make sense because it's not like I can be with them right now. And it really made me start thinking about all of the people that – aren't around their families for the holidays almost every year, uh, especially this year with everything going on in the hospitals and everything else around the world, whether it be those that are deployed elsewhere for military purposes, um, nurses, doctors, patients in the hospital, all of the people that are working every holiday, that have pretty much worked every holiday that they can remember, um, especially this time of year. And, and I think about all of the other people that are celebrating other holidays and how much we perpetuate and build up Christmas and have it recognized as the supreme holiday, as the national day off and all of that. And yeah, the government likes to say that that's not the case, but we all know different. Um, and school likes to think it's not Christmas break, it's winter break, and we all know different. Because, I mean, it's really interesting when you think about it. I mean, there's so many different holidays that come around and throughout the year, and especially here at the end of the year, um, we've got Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, uh, Christmas are the big three that I can think of off the top of my head, but there are even more holidays that are going around in December or November. I mean, it's crazy to me just thinking about the last unedited vlog I did where I was talking about Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving in Canada is celebrated in October, and in other parts of the country it's not called Thanksgiving, and it, and very much is a, a rough day for those that are Native Americans, and it's a day of mourning, it's a day of loss. And it's, it's such an interesting concept in how we think about it, and how much our memories growing up, and how much our family creates this environment in which is the normalcy. And when that normalcy changes or something is altered, it when we can't control that or it's outside of a control, the amount of pain that is felt during that time and the loneliness that a lot of us are feeling right now, it's just, 
it's just honestly rough. To me, one of the most interesting things about Christmas to me is not only is it a great time with fan, friends and family and loved ones getting together, exchanging gifts. It's not about how much you pay. It's about the meaning behind it. And, and honestly, to me, the giving was more joyful than the receiving after I got past being a little kid getting new toys. I love being able to give things to people I care about. And this year, I didn't really give anything. Um, one of the most interesting things in my perspective is the best present you can ever receive is presence. Giving of yourself, giving of your time, giving of everything throughout the year. I don't want a particular time to give somebody anything. I don't want to be assigned that. To me, the days that we're not supposed to or the days where you get surprised and give something to somebody are the things that are more meaningful. It made me feel the sense of obligation to, to give people stuff. And I feel remorse and guilt for all of the people that have given me gifts and I haven't gotten them anything. I didn't pay money for, for a gift card or for something that was meaningful to them. And that guilt sucks, but at the same time, I'm just thankful for the stuff that people are willing to give me and, and in showing that they care about me enough to think about me and, and give me something. And it's not about me and it's not about you. It's about, it's about the spirit of Christmas. And there's an interesting thought. And if you have kids watching, this is the part where you mute or you take your kids away because we're going to talk about things that I don't want to spoil for little kids or anybody else. So I'll give you that pause and that moment to talk about this. But to me, the most interesting thing that I thought about and the most interesting thing like that, and make sure your kids are away or their ears, ears are hushed or they're not paying attention, um, but it's the idea of Santa Claus, right? We talk about and perpetuate this guy, this guy in a red suit that goes and travels the entire world and drops off gifts and, and does so much and gives so much to those um, that were good and kind and, and considerate on Christmas, right? We, we like to reward good behavior. And the most interesting thing to me is when you discover that Santa Claus is not a real thing, it's, it's an interesting concept. Because to me, Santa Claus is still a real thing. He may not be a person. He may not be a thing that travels the world. But he is the spirit of giving. He is the spirit of presence. He's the spirit of existing in a, in a common thread of giving and, and doing what you can and showing your affection and showing your love for others in the form of this holiday. And it, it's the most interesting thing because to me, Santa Claus does still exist, but it only exists in my heart. I know it's not this person that travels the world. I know it's not about magic reindeer or things like that. And, and the story behind St. Nicholas and, and everything along those lines, while well, may be true and is why we celebrate and created this Santa Claus, Santa Claus still lives within every single one of us. And to me, I like to bring that with me every day that I possibly can. It's not just Christmas. I always hope to give to people that I care about give myself and give help and give where I can and help where I can. And so if anything in this holiday, I want you to recognize what you can also give yourself. Give yourself kind words, give yourself space, give yourself understanding and the ability to, you know, allow yourself to feel what you're feeling. I know for me, Christmas is also one of the loneliest times of the year. It's very much a recognition of like, I don't have a significant other that I'm cuddling up with or can kiss under the mistletoe. I honestly think that being single on Christmas is more lonely to me than being single on Valentine's Day. I don't know what it is. I'm not bothered by it, but I recognize it. I acknowledge it. And this year, it's an even greater loneliness. I'm not around 
my loved ones. I don't get to see my dad. This is the second Christmas. Only the second one since my mom passed away. I, and I feel that loss and I feel the loneliness because I'm in LA and I'm alone in my apartment. And I think there are more people out there that are just like me. It's their first time not being around their family. Their first time not being able to do the traditional things that they do. Hell, for me, it's hanging spoons off our noses after dinner just before, or yeah, after dinner. And then we get a new spoon for dessert. Like, I mean, that's a shy tradition. And it's stupid. It's it's dumb and it's but it's so uniquely ours. Playing board games after that and and just <laughs> being loud and obnoxious at the dinner table. Those are the things I'm going to miss this year for sure. And I think you guys have your own traditions that you're going to miss. But allow those things to live in your heart and live in your mind and maybe you still do them on your own. Maybe it helps you find that that space to connect with your family, even if you're not with them physically, even when you're not able to hug them or hold them or feel like you can talk to them very easily. Because to me, talking to somebody while they're physically with you is so much different than still video chatting or talking over the phone. There's a whole other element that we, we forget about. And I also want to acknowledge the people that this is a regular thing for those that serve in militaries across the world, those that work in hospitals, work in sanitation, work as mail delivery people. The amount of work that like delivery drivers and warehouse workers have done just for the holidays. I mean, give them some love and appreciation for that incredible hard work. And yeah, I'm still mad that Black Friday was still a thing and people were working in retail stores and making barely livable wages, but that's not the point. The corporatization, the retail front that has become Christmas, the money drive, I really wish it would go away, but it won't. It's something that's just there. But recognize and understand that the spirit of Christmas is not about how much you paid for a gift, how much you received in gifts or, or base your value based on monetary amounts that people paid for the things that they gave you. No. It's about the spirit of giving and the presence. The reason it's called presence in my mind is because it's about being present, being there, enjoying that time, remember those memories, and remember those that are working today, other holidays, and throughout. Recognize those people that don't get as much you know, attention to their holidays that are celeb they celebrate and are important to them. And at the end of the day, do what you need to do to feel okay to find the merriness that is in the Christmas season, to find joy in this world that we live in right now. Do what you need to do. Just like I'm going to try and do what I need to do. So Merry Christmas, all of you that celebrate it. Happy holidays to those who celebrated any other holiday I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And, um, yeah, this is my gift to you. My presence, I guess. That's cheesy as heck, but, hey, I hope, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy what I keep trying to do and what I post on YouTube. And maybe more of these unedited vlogs will come up just kind of a weird thing it's just me rambling and thinking about stuff throughout and sharing it with you and i stumble across my words and do so much but anyway i'm still rambling <laughs> merry christmas happy holidays enjoy your day 
with fa- friends, with family, with yourself. Just make it the best that you can and find joy in the world around you. You are wonderful. You are truly a gift to my life, to those around you, and to this world. Be you. Shine your light. Smile always. And I will see you guys, I guess, whenever I stream again or the next video or whatever. But thank you guys so much for the support. Happy holidays.